Jack Sparrow, the freaking pirate over on Twitter, and Zucker Chooch on Facebook, and YouTube censors anything that they don't like because it doesn't fit their agenda. I don't fit their agenda. And I never have from day one when I was just pushing out positivity, not doing music, not doing face swaps. My whole concept was bringing this world together and breathing light together and realizing that we are one soul split into seven billion. And they don't allow that message to get out there because it defeats the purpose of their crap narrative, which is that we're all different and you're black and you're white. And no, we're souls. We're here. We're lucky to be alive. Why isn't anybody talking about this? We're all lucky to be alive. Whatever color you are, you should be thanking God, Allah, Jesus, whatever you want to thank, that you have a breath coming in and out of you on a second-by-second -second basis because we are fortunate and our color is nothing. It's the beauty that we have, a life within us, that we get to live that life, and no one wants to connect on that. They want to live on all the other crap that's been focused on by man over the last 2,000 years. And when someone comes along who says, what's really important is this, guys, is the soul within the human, not the skin color of somebody. And by the way, the soul is unique in each and every one of us. And if you can love the fact that we all have something unique, we connect on that right off the bat. If I just look and I know Fisherman's Daughter, Mighty Mark, Exile J-Man, Hilly Billy, Frosty Knight, Wolfie, Giggles, Farkas, Gregory, May, Latricia, Lady Jan, I'm gonna, I could keep going through this list. Wendy Pooh Bear, you guys all have something unbelievably unique. Something that you do that no one else can do. And you, maybe you haven't figured it out. Maybe you have, but you have that. I know it. Trust it. Trust it. Trust that you were born with something that you need to discover. And it's not out there. It's in here. And the more you search within, the more comfortable you get with that search. And please get comfortable with that search. Start going after it, all right? Because time is short. We are running out of it. And what I hear is coming our way from all the shows that I've been starting to, to frequent now. There's a lot of crazy stuff coming our way. And so what I say is prep all you want when it comes to your physical safety, your family safety. But prep your soul right here on Real Talk every single day. Because if you live in the light, I guarantee you, you will be ready for whatever's coming next. You'll treat people the way they need to be treated. Your heart will just act properly. And I, I got to tell you, if things that are going to turn the way we think they're going to turn, we need this more than anything before that. Because if we don't have this before that, we are doomed. We are doomed forever. Our society, our civilization dies. We need real talk before it all falls apart. Or else the people will treat each other the way they're treating each other currently. Don't you understand? The hatred that's out there right now, we will, none of us will survive. That group will, that little group, they will watch everybody else die. They don't have a heart right now. We need to bring it back. We need to bring everyone's heart back. And again, that doesn't fit the narrative because they do want to continue to push this thing down the drain. This is the global reset, right? The ultimate reset. I got news for you. I have the ultimate reset. It's right here. It has nothing to do with their reset. It has to do with resetting our perspective to light instead of darkness. And we can get there. We can get there together. And together, we're stronger. That's one thing I will always take from the book, from that book. When one or more in my name, my name is the light, okay? My name is the light. That's what Jesus was saying. He wasn't saying... The words are meaningless, guys. It's something some human along the way created a word for a feeling. Jesus was explaining the feeling of God. The light. It's within all of us. He is the light. We are the light. Each and every one of us. That message was never meant to get out there. If it was, the church never would have gone off the ground. People would be like, I don't need you. Jesus told me the light's within me. He did. He did say it. Why do I know that? Because I can feel every single thing that happened in history. When you connect to this light, you, you could sense the truth better than anything else. Just feels. You could feel the truth. It vibrates within you. And when I think about this man who lived 2,020 years ago in, in a time when he was persecuted and, and murdered for, his, for starting something, for, for bringing love and light to this planet, sound familiar? 
You got people persecuted for bringing love and light to this world. Oh, well, Lucifer is going to come doing the same thing. Lucifer is going to come preaching light. What? So what is the Messiah come back preaching hate? I'm sorry. Am I confused here? So the, the Lucifer, the devil comes back. The Antichrist comes back preaching light and love. Okay. So what is, what is the Messiah preach? Hate and debauchery and murder and incest? Like what is, what am I missing here? If they both come back preaching the same message, one of them's the Antichrist, one of them's the Messiah, then how do you decipher if you're going to murder every single person that comes along and say they're the Antichrist? You're the freaking fake news. Fake news. The original fake news. Council of Nicaea. Let's just get together and let's create a narrative here. Look, it's 79 AD. I think that's somewhere around there. We need to put all these books together. We need to figure out how to create one centralized text for all of these books. You guys have books over here. There's some over there. Let's put them all together. Let's sit down. Let's read through them. Let's figure out which ones make Jesus seem human. And let's get rid of those right away. And then let's keep going here. Which ones can we make him seem like he's like the only spiritual being that ever existed in the history of time? Excuse me. We are all spiritual beings. Each and every one of us. We were put here by God. God is, again, a word. You were put here by that feeling you get when you connect to that ultimate spirit, okay? I don't care what you call it. That's why this is a non-denominational show. I say whatever you feel as long as you feel. I want you to feel. I'm not going to tell you what to like and who to like and what, what's right and what's wrong. I can tell you everything's wrong. <laughs> no one's gotten it right. I hope you know that. Every single religion went wrong as soon as they let man get involved and start to dictate how to control people. If they left that part out and they were like, look, it's about love, light, and connecting, and kindness, and lifting people up, and not doing mean things, and not smiting people, and all the things they say are fine. Like, oh, well, if you don't, we're the chosen ones, and if you don't, you're going to be smite. Like, what? That's hate. There's no God that would be hating. It's just man who created the narrative to put fear out there for people. I can tell you, being here for 688, trying to get this world to love each other more, that I could never imagine Jesus having a negative feeling or wanting someone to have like a, like a revenge thing towards them. Like if he's truly the spirit of light and light is about positivity and connecting, there wouldn't be a revenge factor to God. There wouldn't be a revenge factor. Be look, the, the light's always there for you to walk into. If you're not able to see it or feel it, or you're not interested in the light, so be it, but it's always there for you. It's like my thing. I grew up as Catholic and Christian Catholic. And my, when I hear someone say, well, if you don't, G Jesus, the way, the light, that's the only way is through. The only way you can get to heaven is through. Like, excuse me, don't lie to me. You don't know anything. You don't know anything. None of these people know anything. They've made up rules. Search your soul. Search your soul. My soul tells me if I'm kind to people, if I show up here every day for the rest of my life and I try to give to this planet and I love every single soul on this planet, it's not about some other person. It's about my actions. No, it's about believing in somebody. No, that takes away what your power is. Where is your power? Oh, it's in a book from 2,000 years ago. I can't do anything without consulting the book. No, excuse me. We're in 2020. That book was written when people had no idea what was going to happen 2,000 years later. No idea. We live in a society and time when hatred's at an all-time high. you got to be able to see through it. And if you can't find the kindness and the positivity within you first, you are lost. You are a ship at sea with no direction. This is where we, why we need to connect here. We need to find our true north before it all goes totally haywire. Because when it all goes bad, as long as we know that that's the direction home, it doesn't matter what's going on around us. It doesn't matter the gale force winds and the, and the squalls and whatever else is going on because we can see that light at the end. And this is why I implore you, yes, Prep, do all the things that are important, but please remember that this prepping your soul is of utmost importance. More important than prepping your physical readiness is, is so important, yes, but protect your soul. Because when the time comes and everything falls down, it's how you treat those around you. Your actions will matter. And I know, oh, I only have so much rice. Oh, I don't think I can. But your actions will be judged by the people around you, 
by something else, I don't know, but definitely by the people around you. I'm not saying go out there and feed the nation, but I'm saying remember to lead with your heart. If things get bad, we need people to be leading with their heart and not lead with hate. Right now, it's only hate. And this is why the show started. I love people say, I hate Donald Trump. And I say, do you like this program? And if they say yes, do you know this show would never exist? I would never be here if the world was not in the turmoil that it's currently in. If we didn't have so much hatred, I never would have felt the need to step up and try to be the light. But there was no light anywhere. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. I had no intention of starting a daily show and going live every day for the rest of my life. Never. That was never the intention. 